First thing, if you could check your phone for me, please. Um, you've got to take a call, I understand. Um, I am, uh, I'm Lewis Burns out of Columbia, South Carolina. Has anybody other than folks from South Carolina in Georgia? Has anybody been to South Carolina? All right, couple people. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I will tell you that uh, Columbia is a little small town. Uh, we have about 200,000 people, and it's the capital of South Carolina. We only have 4.5 million, maybe 5 million people in the state. Uh, you know, you guys have this on the city block here. And so I'm excited about the potential and opportunity here because <clears throat> once I tell you my story, you should think in your mind that I'm about to be rich. That's what you should be thinking about. And the reason being is that because if I can do what I did in Columbia, you should be able to kill it here in Houston in the Texas area. I think I read somewhere, Texas has close to 30 million people, 25, 30 million, John? Yeah, about 28. 28 million? Mm -hmm. And uh, hey, my good friend. Hey. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Good to see you, Sam. Likewise. Likewise. Yeah. Likewise. Yep. Um, so let's make a comparison. So let's just say 30 million, because you know they're undocumented people we know here, and we cover those people as well. And we got 5 million. Do you understand that six times as many people? than what I have, okay? And so based off that, uh, each and every one of you guys should be making about $300,000 a month once I get done telling you what I do. Uh, because you should be making at least, at least six times as much as what I'm making. And so guys, what we do uh, is that we, we help people with insurance. We help seniors with their financial matters. Now, I will tell you in the name of Jesus, do not be afraid of the word insurance. I have run into people. Hey, Cal. Hey. Cal is all the way from the Carolinas. Okay. Oh, okay. All the way from the Carolinas, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Guys, let me share something with you now. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> Helen came in from Augusta, Georgia, yesterday. Oh. Calvin's from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, Matt and uh, Penny, they're from Charleston, South Carolina. So you understand this business would have to be very serious for us to come this far. Very serious. We wouldn't come this far, thank you, Sam. If this thing wasn't very serious, Warren, you understand it, right? We stay right in Carolina, stay right in Georgia. So it's a lot of money to be made. It's a huge opportunity. And let me just share something with you. Just because you don't understand something don't mean there's anything wrong with it. Do you agree? I don't understand a lot of things, okay? Uh, I don't understand brain surgery. I don't understand nuclear medicine. I don't understand being a doctor, but in this business right here, I understand this. I understand that you can make a lot of money. But real quick, and I'm going to take about the next 30 to 40 minutes. We won't be here very long on the on this side of the house. And then after for the new people, after we uh, talk a little bit, I'm going to answer some questions. Uh, then we're going to do some training. But anyway, um, like I said to you before, I'm Lewis Burns. I, live in Columbia, South Carolina, I would say that South Carolina is one of the greatest states in America, just like Texas. Uh, it's a small state. Uh, the rumor in that state is that you can't make money in South Carolina. Have y'all heard that in other states? You can't make money in certain states? Have you heard that? Uh, just because, let me look around. Okay. Just because of racial makeup, South Carolina is about 70% white, 2% Hispanic, and the other 28% black. And we just had the Confederate flag down about four years ago. From the state house. Uh, they're dead serious about what they do. And so uh, Donald Trump won by 80% in South Carolina. Okay? Dead serious about what they do. But let me tell you something. In that little state, I got rich. I got flat out rich. Guys, in this business right here, you can carve yourself out uh, some money and opportunity right here in Houston, Texas. Like I said, what, what does Houston have, John? Close to seven or eight million people? Uh, four. Four? Six? Documented or undocumented? You're probably talking about the documented. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, call you 14 million. <laughs> All together. All right, now you got nothing wrong with it, man. I love them. I, I ride a lot of Uber uh, throughout the country. Guys, I love meeting foreign people. They just got a different zeal about themselves. Mm -hmm. They make no excuses. No excuses, man. I, I talk about Uber drivers. They'll work 15, 20 hours. Make a hundred dollars. Mm. Make one hundred dollars, Chase. It'll work fifteen. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I got to tell a story real quick. I tell a lot of good stories, but I was in Philadelphia one time, and I was getting some gas. 
by 3 o'clock in the morning. I was taking my rental car back to uh, the airport and catch on a plane. And so this guy, me and this guy met at the gas station. It was snow everywhere. And he said, hey, man, how you doing? I said, I'm doing great. 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm kind of wondering why you speak. And so, exactly. And so I'm not that kind of guy. But anyway, he said, uh, he said, man, you drive an Uber? I said, no, I don't drive an Uber. I said, you do? He said, yeah. I said, how long have you been working today? He said, I've been working, it was something like 18 hours straight. I said, how much money have you made so far? He said, man, I've made $220. 18 hours divided by two. <laughs> and he was excited. He was excited that he was going to make $220 in his pocket. So, you know, guys, people will do things, strange things for money. We understand that. But in this business right here, guys, we're going to talk to you about making $1,000 an hour legally, ethically, and morally right by helping senior citizens with their financial matters. You want to write that down. Can you help senior citizens with their financial matters? And guys, I'm going to give you some advice for those of you that can take notes because I'm about to teach you how to make a quarter of a million dollars. Now, let me ask you by a uh, show of hands, who's had some kind of college education in their lifetime? All right, y'all look around. Look around. Most everybody in here. Now, I've been to college too. And in college, did they ever teach you how to make a quarter of a million dollars? No. Mm -hmm. Never. Never. My first job when I came out of college in 1990, my base salary was $27,000, y'all. And even today, people consider that a lot of money. That was in 1990. That was my base. And so I wanted to share with you, and I'm not bragging, guys. I'm just trying to help you. Whether this is for you or not, when there's a millionaire sitting in front of you talking, you want to take notes because you're not going to remember what I'm saying. And if you didn't bring any pen and paper today, that's okay. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to help you for the next time. But guys, <clears throat> getting back to what I was telling you, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Carolina Gamecock, USC Gamecock, Carolina. I graduated in 1990. I got a degree in insurance. I got a degree in business management. I'm not telling you stuff to brag. I'm just trying to lay some foundation for you. Uh, got in the insurance business when I was 16 years old for the first time. They had a deal that you could work at Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Did that my six, uh, 11th grade year, 12th grade year. And then when I went to college in 1988, I started working for another insurance company while I was in college. And that insurance company put, to, put me through college. And then when I graduated in 1990 with my insurance degree and business management degree, I could work in the insurance business. One of the few people that got a degree in something and went to work in it. And I've had an insurance license now for 29 consecutive years. Okay? And But I got into the mortgage business. Anybody been in the mortgage business before? My God, my God. Guys, I got rich in the mortgage business. That's where I made all my money at. And uh, I'm just going to go and take There's no money like that anymore. My best year, tell me again. Bridget, my best year in mortgage, I made $800,000. $800,000 in one year. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I was so rich, Warren, I didn't know what to do. You make $800,000 in Columbia, South Carolina, you're rich. And don't be black at the same time, you're rich. <laughs> I was like, Richie Rich, y'all remember Richie Rich? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I bought everything. I bought my, my, my son back there. I bought him scooters, I bought him cars, I bought, I lived on the lake. I mean, I got rich. But that, that, that thing ran out. They said the market crash in 07, 08, 09, I finally started start seeing myself lose money in 11. And in 12, I was completely busted. Yep, I was completely busted. And so I got into this business in 2013. And, and guys, in a very short period of time, I started making some good money. Um, I got serious about it probably around November of 2013. That month, I made $20,000. Guys, let me share something with you. <clears throat> There's a lot of money to be made. And once you know how to make money, Bridget, it's not too hard to do something else to make money, especially if somebody else is making money doing it. Oh yeah. Make sure you understand that. And I got a chance, guys, to be around a couple millionaires in South Carolina and they've been doing it for a while and they kept saying, Louis, you can do this too. And a lot of times it's believability on whether you can do something. And the mind is very powerful. Once the mind believes that it can do it, you can achieve it. If you can overcome your mind situation, you can get rich. And guys, it doesn't matter what age you are. We got people uh, on my team in their early 30s, they make 15, 20,000 off a month. Early 30s. And they just go out and they see these people and they help these people. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. That's a little bit of history about myself. I will tell you that uh, I have six children and three of my six children are full time in this business. The reason I tell you that is because you think about it as a parent, we always want our children to be 
more successful than we are. And if this was not a good deal, Chase, guess what I wouldn't have? I wouldn't have my children doing this because I want them to be better than me. But they have an opportunity, guys, to be great. Uh, Lewis, stand up for me, please. This is my oldest boy, that's LB3. What's going on, y'all? He's one of our trainers, he's one of our leaders. He's 26 years old and he's rich. He's not married. You know, I'm not putting him down. He doesn't have uh, any tattoos, you can see. Uh, no earrings, and he better have a belt on them britches. All right, and then I have a 24-year-old. He's the director of agency. He's back in um, he's back in Columbia. We have the same type of meeting going on that started an hour ago in Columbia. And then I have a 19-year-old. He's also at the meeting in Columbia. And then I have three daughters, 15, 11, and six. And only thing they walk around the house saying I'm an insurance agent. So guys, this could be a family business for you. This is something that, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was a little boy, you know, you had those friends that you told them that if you ever found something good, come back and tell me and we get in business together. Y'all you ever had those kind of friends? Well, I'm going to tell you, you got something to go back and share with your friends once you see these numbers here, okay? Let's go get started, Liz. All right. Uh, our opportunity is better. Go ahead and decide. There you go. Thank you. Well, I tell you, who cut the lights off? Well, thank you, Chris. Damn, I need to recruit you. <laughs> I will tell you hands down that our opportunity is better. Now, I didn't make this slide. Better than what? Better than having a job. Uh, better than any other career that I've seen. Um, I will tell you that on average, I work two to three days a week. And I make anywhere from sixty-five to eighty thousand every month, and I can't think of anything else I can do that in. I run my own business. I don't report to anybody but my daddy and God, and I just report to my daddy because he's my daddy. Uh, my dad owns a different business altogether. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you: if you were looking for an opportunity, you were looking for something better for you and your family, or just you by yourself, and that's where I was uh, in 2013 when I got serious about this thing. I needed to make some money, and I just need to make some money, Warren, and I had six children at the time, and those kids need to eat, they need to be clothed, they had to go to school, they need housing, they need everything that I had provided for them, and the mortgage business had kind of run out. But I'm going to tell you, if you will follow our system, I'm going to tell you our opportunity is better than anything I've ever seen in my life. Now, keep in mind, I'm an independent contractor. I don't work for anybody but myself. So if there was something better out there, I'd be doing it. Okay, keep going with us. All right, uh, this is myself and my good friend, Shiraka. Shiraka's in the Atlanta <coughs> area. She's rich, rich, rich. She's 38, 39 years old, just turned 39. Single, no kids, makes about $25,000, $25,000 to $30,000 per month. Uh, we've been partnering up. I hired her when she was uh, uh, in college in 2001 to help me run my mortgage business. And uh, guys, we're just great partners. Uh, you can change your life today, tomorrow is now. You know, I will tell you now, I am, uh, I, I'm a gift procrastination. I think that's from the devil, I say devil. And I do not believe in procrastination, guys. Procrastination is never good on anything. If you see this opportunity, you need to move now. If you don't see it, okay. But if you see it, you need to move now. Let's go, Liz. My good friend, Shiraka, this is her. She's a superstar in this business. Last year, in 2018, she had almost $908,000 in annual revenue for her company. She owns her own business. She does not work for me. We work as partners, okay? She was a number three person in the country, all right, in the country, uh, uh, in her category, which is a regional director. Okay, let's keep going. Now, this is myself, picture about 30 years old. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did almost $2.5 million with this company. I was number two. Only reason I was number two is I had what's called a upline. You know, somebody invited you to the meeting, like Terrell did, he would be your upline. And even if he did one dollar more than me, he would always be one ahead of me. But I will tell you that I am considered the number one regional vice president in the country, all right, with this particular company that we work with. We work with a handful of companies. This is our flagship company here. And I'm considered number one, even though it says number two, because the guy that recruited me in the business, he's a little above me. But we do about 75 to 80 percent of this business. Just out of little South Carolina, guys. He's down in Florida, Seabreeze, Florida, little country town down there. And guys, what we're doing is we're just helping people with insurance. I do two things: I help people with insurance, and I help agents like yourself make money. 
Those are two things I do and I do it very, very well. All right? Oh, let me give you a fact too. Let's go back real quick. If you can. All right, so, all right, that was for 2018, correct? So my number now, and I'm gonna I'm I'm show it to you guys. Thank you too, appreciate it, buddy. Uh, my number now is 2.6 for the year. So I've exceeded everything I did last year. I've already exceeded. So we'll be somewhere close to six, seven million dollars. Think about it for a second now. That well, let me explain to you what that numbers mean. That's how much revenue is going to run through my business. That's how much ran through last year, and this year it will be close to six or seven million dollars. Think about it. You own a business, and you had six or seven million dollars in revenue coming through your business. You understand that you will be rich <laughs> in any business. In any business, you will be rich. Okay, so I'm excited about it, but let me tell you something. It's just the beginning. We'll have six, seven million dollars this year. Next year we'll have 12, 15 million. The year after that we'll have 30, 50 million. The year after that we'll have 100 million. That's the kind of business that we're in. You can have 100 million dollars, Chase, running through your organization. Be richer than rich. All right, let's keep going. All right, <clears throat> this system guarantees your $100,000 a year per income. Uh, $100,000 a year per year income. All right, 100,000. It pretty much guarantees that. Well, how can you guarantee that? All you got to do is go see our people. Everybody's buying, everybody's getting in. Everybody's buying, everybody's getting in, okay? And you just gotta go see our people. We're gonna talk about how we get our clients. We do not want you bringing in your own clients per se. Can you do that? Yes, but we want you to go see our clients, okay? Let's keep going. All right, guys, uh, one of our flagship companies is a company called Senior Life Insurance Company. Don't get caught up with that name. You don't work for Senior Life. Your relationship is with my agency, which is Consolidated Planning. Been in business 23 years as of July 1st. A very, very successful agency out of Columbia, South Carolina. This is, I'll give you an example. All right, so this company right here that may be saying is called Members Mark. I don't know what that means. All right, now you understand if I go to Walmart and buy this, Walmart and Members Mark have nothing to do with each other. You understand that, right? Nothing. Other than you went to Walmart and bought it. Same thing. When we deal with an insurance company, only thing they're doing is like this right here. They're just a provider of a product. That's it. Make sure you understand the relationship. Okay? If you call Senior Life or Transamerica or Mutual Bone Hall or any of our other companies we do business with, and you said, I was at your meeting. We didn't have no meeting. What meeting you were at? In Houston. On Hopper Road. No, we weren't there. <laughs> All right, so make sure you understand it. But these guys have a great story. I met these guys in 2014. It changed my life. Um, it's father and son. Uh, Dale Powell, Ron Powell, CEO and president of Senior Life Insurance Company. They started an insurance agency like me, I did, and within a very few short years, they bought their own insurance company. And so they're one of our flagship companies. He was a debt, for you older folks, you know what a debit agent is. He was an old debit agent in the 70s, knocking on doors, collecting money, and we don't do that. And then he got involved in 1989, and he, he became a final expense agent. And within five years, they became billionaires, both of them. Within five years. And I gotta tell you, the opportunity is better today than it was when they did this probably uh, 20, 25 years ago. It's better today. Well, how can you say that? Well, they didn't have Facebook. They didn't have GPS. They didn't have Twitter. They didn't have texting. They didn't really have email. With those tools that we have today for you agents that are in here, if you're not using those tools to leverage your business, you're making a drastic mistake. Drastic, okay? I'm telling you right now, the opportunity is greater today because I can sit there and send a text, 100 texts out, I can send 200 emails out, I can tweet somebody, I can uh, Facebook them, I can do a lot of communication. Uh, and, and let me tell you something too, it's easier to get around now. You know, I jumped on the plane Thursday, flew here, we rode to Dallas yesterday, did a similar type of meeting in Dallas yesterday, came back yesterday afternoon, and now we're here this morning at this great place right here. So guys, it's easier, okay? Uh, but these guys are American hero. We look at the next ring list. All right, this is probably the biggest thing here. What is your why? Is it your family? Is it to have a nice home? Is it money? Is it cars? And all these things can be provided in this opportunity. And this is a career now. I want to make sure we understand this. This is not negative. This is not multi-level marketing. They're saying a friend who signs up a friend. You have to get a professional license. Just like a doctor, just like an attorney, just like a CPA, you gotta have a professional license. You gotta pass a test, easy test, 
You got to go through a background check. You got to be fingerprinted. You got to be checked out. They just don't let every who shot John. You might know what that means. Mm -hmm. Exactly. My mom used to say that. Who shot John? My mom did it in 2012. But who shot John? They're not going to let any who shot John participate in this opportunity. And I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Exclusivity can lead to being rich. Okay? Everybody will not qualify and everybody won't do this. Okay? And if you, it's easy to do. It's not hard. All right? It's easy to do. All right, we'll keep going with some more shit. All right, who are we? This is my company, Consolidated Planning. I'm the CEO. I'm the president. I'm the janitor. I'm the bookkeeper. I'm everything that you want to be. And we're the future of final expense. It looks like us. Now, I will tell you, it was uh, predominantly a white male uh, opportunity career uh, back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Not because of discriminatory reasons, but just because we didn't know anything about it. But let me tell you, since I found out about it in 2013, I've talked to thousands of people about this opportunity. Tens of thousands of people if I could. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I'm everywhere telling everybody, if you listen to me, I'll get you rich. Okay? If you just listen to me for a few minutes and let me help you, I'll get you rich. But here's one of my favorite sayings. Everybody's buying, everybody's getting in. We had a conference call this morning. I didn't know JJ was listening to me. He said, Lewis, you got me saying that. Everybody's buying, everybody's getting in. Guys, with our product, from zero to 85, won't tell us. From zero to 85, we accept all medical conditions, no matter whether they have cancer, heart attack, in jail, HIV, stroke, cancer, dialysis. They've cut off some limbs. They've done everything. Good morning. Merry Christmas. One of my recruiters from South Carolina, he came over from Columbia as well. Y'all give him a round of applause. Exactly. He played on the Uber driver. I mean, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> he said the Uber driver took him to the wrong place. Tell right. so that to somebody else. <laughs> I guess if you leave at 1045, 945, <laughs> Uber driver. Right. But uh, guys, we accept everything. Uh, Robert flew out yesterday. Uh, as well, flew through Charlotte, flew through Atlanta, and come here. Very serious business. Remember that. Okay, let's go. All right, what do we do? Guys, we're, I, we're final expense specialists. We're not life insurance agents. We're final expense specialists. You understand, if you put the word specialist behind your name, that takes your income up by two more digits and zeros. Think about it for a second. The doctors are specialists of... A neurologist is a specialist. A heart doctor is a specialist. You do not want to be a broker. Oh, man. Brokers are broke. <laughs> I'm being honest. I mean, think about it for the word broker. Kill the R. <laughs> broke. Yeah. So do not call yourself a broker. I have people try to force me to call myself a broker. I say, no, sir, I'm a specialist. All right, and a final expense specialist. Now, let me give you some facts and figures. The average insurance agents make two to $3,000 per month. Average final expense agent to make twelve, ten to twelve thousand dollars a month. Which one do you want to be? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. And guys, we what we do is we help seniors and people with final expense. Is what we do. Make sure you understand what you do. All right, Lewis. All right. How do we do it, guys? This is really important. We have a tremendous lead system, right, Chase? Yeah. Tremendous lead system. We're going to put you in front of people that want your product. Now, you still got to do your job. You still got to go out there and you got to be great. You still got to go out there and invite people to buy. You still got to go out there and explore the possibilities. But we're going to give you some people to talk to. If I'm selling something, if I'm selling anything, do I want to talk to people that want to talk to me? Or do I want to talk to people that have the development interests, that have, you know, have to develop their interests? So here's the problem that you have being a life insurance agent. The average life insurance agent spends 80% of his time prospecting, 20% of his time selling. In our business, we spend 20% of our time prospecting, 80% of our time selling. So that's why we make four times as much money. It's that simple. It's simple math. Okay? Do you give them some leads and they've changed their mind and they don't have any money? Yes. But let me ask you a question. Have any of you guys went into a store and you saw something and you liked it and you changed your mind? Of course. Have you gone in with an idea to buy something out of Walmart and you get there and you looked at it and you didn't like it and you didn't buy it? So our, our deal is no different. Do not get frustrated when people change their mind. They just change their mind. Now, it might be a temporary change. Most of the time with our clients, the only reason they don't buy, they don't have any money. That's all. Now, let me tell you about not having any money. It's temporary. 
Very temporary. Most of our clients are sick and get a check. And we deal with pretty much senior citizens. So most senior citizens get a social security check, a pension check. You just gotta tell them why it would be a good idea to put love and legacy, and we'll talk about that in a second, on themselves so their family could be protected. Fran went to a funeral today. And um, unfortunately, the person <coughs> did not have any insurance and they only had $3,000 in the bank. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yes. All right, that's all, family, that's all we got. And so we don't want to leave our family in a situation like that if we can't, that we can help it. Let's go to the next one, Lewis. All right, so we have leads that are financed. Finance means by your commission check. So here's how to break the same deal. I'll give you a couple scenarios. Uh, Warren, I like that name. My brother's name is Warren. Warren, so let, let me run a scenario about you, about you and you tell me if that's a good idea. So you and I decided to open up a convenience store, okay? And we're gonna put it right at the corner and we got the traffic. And let's say, y'all ever heard of Cisco Foods? Mm -hmm. right. So Cisco Foods is a provider of, of food. Yep, so they agree to come into our store, stock our store up, we don't give them any money up front, and for 12 days, whatever we sell from their food, we get to keep 100% of it, all profit. Hmm. And then on the 12th day, they're basically gonna go into our credit card machine, and as we make the future sales, take, take their money from that and they're gonna stock our store up every week, just like that. Would that be a good deal? Be an excellent deal. Unbelievable deal. Now we had no money up front. We didn't have to give any money, no credit letter, no backup or anything like that, no secured on our savings or checking account, and boom. That's how our leads work. Let me explain it to you so you understand. So about every Wednesday, you can get some leads and for 12 days, there are no lead charges at all. On that Monday after next, the lead charges come due at four o'clock. On the commissions, on the sales that you make, they're gonna take the money from the leads that you got 12 days ago. Not out of your pocket, not out of your credit card, not in your debit account, nobody touches that. So they're gonna pay you the commissions for those 12 days, and on that 12th day, they're gonna pay you commissions from the sales you made, from the clients that they help you develop, we're gonna talk about that in a second. And who would turn down that deal? Nobody raised their hand. That, for you agents in the room that are already licensed and appointed, that's what you have. You, 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 you gotta understand that. Leads do not cost you money. Leads make you money. Amen. You gotta get that in your head. We'll talk about that in training, okay? So guys, guess what we do? We run TV commercials in the area. Guys, y'all do me a favor. That, that distracts me, please. Just text it to me. All right. We run TV commercials in the area. We, uh, you can go, we can go on Facebook. Now, when we do our Facebook leads and our TV leads, they're live. They're pretty much real time. Okay, can you imagine calling me back from a TV commercial and you say, hey, Mr. Burns, this is uh, Warren. Uh, you just called into the TV station. How can I help you? Well, man, I need some insurance. I just saw your commercial. All right, sir, I'm in the area. Do you want to do it over the phone? Or do you want me to come by the house? Man, come on by the house. Put some coffee on for me. I'll be there in a few minutes. <laughs> and you go in and you make the sale. Then on our Facebook, basically what you do there is you tell me, hey, I want 20 Facebook leads. I basically put the Facebook ad on Facebook. We got a company that does it for us. And put it on Facebook, and those ads starts coming to you as people click and fill out the information. They give us their name, their address, their date of birth, their telephone number, and their email address. Those are all buying times. When people give you that kind of information, they're buying. We have what we call direct mail, where we'll mail a piece out. The people will take their precious time, complete it, put it back in the mail, and expect you to go see them. And then believe it or not, in a lot of rural areas, Yellow Pages is still all the land. <laughs> and people still go on yellowpages.com, and we got a big ad that says life insurance. Do you want something? Okay? What a great deal, guys. So we're going to provide the clients for you. We're going to... Uh, pay for basically the upfront cost of you getting paid and getting your commission by financing your leads, and then we get paid every single day. Would everybody agree that job security is getting paid every single day? Yeah. That's, job, that's about as much job security as you can get, is getting a paycheck every single day. So when I hear people say, oh, I don't want to do this, there's no security, let me tell you what's no security, it's a job. They will fire you, lay you off, right side you, downside you, Right, I mean, hit you upside your head. I mean, around Christmas time, we.
We had a lady last year around November. They came and said, been there 18 years, exemplary record. Wow. They said, you're terminated. We no longer need your services. 18 years. She's making $56,000 a year. Think about that. What about Christmas? What about your life bill? What about your food? We're sorry. Have a great day. Okay, so guys, you got to understand, I am real negative on jobs. I am probably one of the most negative people about jobs, Warren. Now, I'm not bragging. I hadn't had a job in 23 years. And the last job I had, here's what the taste they left in my mouth. All right, so I was working for Blue Cross and Blue Shield, and I had won a contest, and they were supposed to give me $10,000 in April of that year. We get to Switzerland, me and Louis's mother. Uh, we're not married anymore. And uh, we get to Switzerland, and they tell me, Louis, let me talk to you. Great. Um, we're not paying you $10,000. Hmm. Well, no, I won the contest in 95. The contest was up January to December 31st. You guys have already announced on the winner. So I'm expecting my money. Well, we changed the rules. When did you change the rules? The rules were last year. We changed them just now. <laughs> and I didn't get my $10,000. Wow. So my contract said this. This was April 24th. I remember the day. 1996. It said that if I quit before June 30th, 1996, I had to pay them $15,000 for a bonus and moving expenses that they did for me uh, in 94. On July 1st, I went in there and I quit. Now, Bridget, I'm the type of person now, two things. I'm not bragging. I was making $100,000 back then. I made $100,000 in 1992, my first year or second year in the business. So I'm not clicking down, but $100,000 is just a really a stepping stone because that was 27 years ago. Most people don't make $100,000 because they haven't gotten in the right feel yet. That's all. I'm no better than you guys at all. I promise you that. I actually have some uh, a little idiosyncrasies about myself. Um, I, I won't take all of them yet, but that's <laughs> crazy. All right. I'm the nicest guy in the world, so he pissed me off. Anyway, so on July 1st, I went in and I quit. Now, here's the problem you got. On uh, 1996, I was 28 years old. I was about to be 29 on July 11th. So when a 28-year-old is supposed to get a $10,000 bonus and he's got 5000 in his bank account, guess what he does? He goes spends it all because he's got to double the money. So I, I spun it all the money that me and my wife had. And by this time, we had two children and she didn't work, okay? And we lived on the lake. I quit. I quit. You steal my money, I don't care. I quit. Because you can't be trusted no more. You understand that, right? You can't be trusted. And so guys, I started my business July 1st, and I basically started on credit cards. I would take cash advance, Calvin, and pay my bills, wouldn't think twice about it. I just knew that I was gonna do. And guys, I, 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 I had no mentorship, I had no training. It's a different deal now, okay? It took me a couple of years, but in a couple of years, I started making six-figure income again. All right, but anyway, guys, this business right here, you don't have to take a couple of years. You give me a couple of months, mm -hmm. I'll help you make six figures. What is that, $8,000 a month? In your pocket? That's not hard, dude. It's not that many sales. We'll talk about this. Over. In our deal, you can do field sales or telesales. That means you can do it in the field over the phone. If you decide to go the telesales route, you will have to show me a history of you selling over the phone, something. And if not, you can't start telesales. Okay? Don't be afraid of field sales. Guys, let me tell you how open minded I am. I'm open minded enough that I'm going to talk with Sam today about opening up an office back here. He don't even know what to talk to him about that. <laughs> and he's in the back of the room. <laughs> All right? He's like, well, you discuss that, but yeah. All right? But that's how open-minded I am. So if you're looking for a place, and, and, and so what does that mean? You can meet clients right over here. Right over there. You can meet clients in their home. You can meet clients at the gas station. You can meet clients at McDonald's. All right? We call this kneecap and kneecap. And then the way I would do, if I was you, I would... Um, so let's say I write somebody up, I write Warren up here, and he tells me he needs a, a policy on his parents and they're in Dallas. I can take Warren's phone and call his parents and do everything from Warren's phone. Mm -hmm. That's how we do my telesales until I get really good over the phone. Okay, let's keep going. Let's... Oh, guys, I'm excited about this. We have something that's called Leads the Way. Hmm. Uh, we're the only company in the industry to have this. Basically, when somebody calls a TV station and they hang up the phone, you can get an alert to your phone that immediately tells you within three seconds of that person calling in, and you can actually purchase that immediately and call that person within less than a minute. Less than a minute. Can you imagine calling me back less than a minute and saying, not what do I want to sell you, how can I help you? Different mindset, okay? It's almost like an Uber deal. First come, first serve. 
whoever gets the lead, what happens when the alert comes on, it tells you the city, the zip code, and how far it is away from you, almost like Uber, and you can decide whether you want it or not. You don't have to take it, okay? But it, I mean, to me, when, once you get good, I would take it. All right, Louis. All right, so guys, we're completely paperless, all right, in our application process. You do have to have an iPad or an iPhone. You know, that becomes a, 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 a block for a lot of people. I had one guy quit because he said he hated Apple. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Sam, I couldn't wrap my head around that. I said, well, did they do something to your parents? No. <laughs> did they do something to you? No. I just hate Apple. I don't know why. I like, I don't know, Android. But see, here's the problem. I still got an Android phone. My phone ran on You know how to switch your phone service. I just added an iPad to my service. No big deal. If it's going to help me make money, if you tell me I had to wear this hat, yeah. To make some money, I would wear the hat. I don't care if it could be a Yankees hat, and I could be a ball square. So I'm guys, we got to get more business money. Got to get more business money. But guys, a couple things: the Slice app, it qualifies the prospect, it quotes the price, walks you through a presentation, enrolls the customer. Now, let me tell you the benefit here. So, if you get a live check, I mean, the check is made out to Senior Life Insurance Company for the first month's premium, which is a very common transaction for us. You get that in by 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. You get paid at 3.05 Central Standard Time, same day. Check must be completed, right, Chase? Yep. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> not bought it. <laughs> not bought it, but must be completed. But if not, let's say some people don't have checks, you guys know that, then we can just uh, draw it out of their account, like a withdrawal. You know, it's called an initial withdrawal, okay? But guys, it's a smooth system, okay? The application can be submitted instantly to the home office. You can enjoy relaxing around the call. I didn't see that, but I guarantee that uh, your business is submitted correctly. You know, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You can go out, make yourself a thousand dollars by noon, and if you like to play golf, like to fish, like to do other things, <laughs> you made a thousand dollars for the day. What a great deal! All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, we never walk away from a sale. We remember I told you this, these two products right here will insure any sick people, anybody in jail. Anybody that's, you know, just 666. And then we have some first day coverages here. This product right here is one of the lowest priced products. It can take an insulin diabetic person, which is usually a no-no in insurance. Uh, we can have a person on five blood pressure pills, one person on five blood pressure pills, and four diabetic medicine. He still qualifies for preferred. Our standard is our smoking product, and somebody that's had a sickness in two years. And then we have a term product as well. So we have all the products that are available for you. You don't have to do anything else. We're a full leave it there for a second, let's mark the picture. We're a full-fledged provider of all insurance services. We don't do property and casualty right now. Uh, I don't think I'll be adding it anytime soon, but we'll partner up if we need it. Well, well Mulligan does, does property and casualty, Robert does it. All right, Lewis. All right, guys, we have a product that's called Legacy Assurance. It's an exclusive product. All right, <clears throat> Legacy does three things. Legacy will price shop the funeral with three different funeral homes. As you guys know, competition is good. Priceline, Expedia, things on, on the internet where you're shopping around. Uh, folks will cut their prices to get clients in. So they'll call three different funeral homes. They don't care what funeral home you use. And basically just tell them, hey, we got a body here. We need your best price. All this is done within one hour. And then what they'll do is they also will negotiate one-on-one -on -one with the funeral home on behalf of the family. Once again, trying to see if they cut some money. Whereas she had a client that died on Memorial Day, which was a Sunday, this is a couple a year or two ago, and uh, the family the funeral home came picked up the body, told them it would be ten thousand dollars. Legacy called and negotiated with them, and that same Monday, the next day, they got them to cut the price down to six thousand dollars hmm. instead of ten. And this is documented. Um, the family was so happy with Helen and her services. It was a lead. It wasn't a family member of hers. They put in the obituary when you have special thanks to Helen Adams and Senior Life Insurance Company for helping us in our time of bereavement. Helen has that laminated and she's short of customers. Okay? And in addition to that, go ahead to mention. In addition to that, they will provide the uh, casket, urns, monuments, and vaults at a very discounted price. Anywhere from 30 to 80% cheaper. The caskets are only $1,500. 18 uh, gauge caskets. Uh, the family gets over 250 plus to choose from. We probably have 50 to 75 different urns. Those are only $100. 
Funeral homes will charge 500 to 1,000 dollars for those. Uh, we have just a, a plethora, never use that word for but just a plethora of monuments <laughs> to choose from upright, the two angels with the wings, I mean, uh, flat ones, anything you need, pretty much we have that. And in that vault right there is a one vault, that's 750. Uh, this is 1250. And so the vault and the casket is a total of 2250. Be shipped within 24 hours of somebody's death. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what their religion might be, you know, we can get those caskets and vaults to them at a very fast pace. Uh, my friend's dad died a few months ago and she paid almost $9,000 between the casket and the vault. Mm -hmm. 9000 She paid almost $20,000 for the funeral. Okay? You got a question? Oh, no, man. All right, keep going. All right, guys, I'm excited about this right here. This is a brand new product that just came out. Louis, do me a favor. Yes, sir. Take a picture of that. Uh -huh. Please, take a picture of that. And text it to me. You your phone? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let me tell you what happened on that. Here's why I want a picture of that. I had a guy text me this morning. He said, hey, Louis, I got a new benefit for your agent to sell. And he sent me information, and it was exactly this right here, right? And guess what this is cost to the public? He said they're charging thirty dollars a month for that. Okay, thirty bucks. I mean, basically, what it is is that it's a dock in the box, uh, brand new as of July. Uh, as, as a, now, here's the great thing about it: as a member of our team, you get this for free. You get it for free. Okay. You know, once again, guys, you know there's certain elements and conditions. You know, you have a rash. You know, you're not feeling well because. You have an upset stomach or you need some Prolisac, you know, for reflux, you basically can call that number, tell them what's going on, receive the diagnosis, they'll call you in the prescription, and you don't pay anything for that. You can sell this to our clients as part of our legacy assurance program. Okay? Um, in addition to that, they've added uh, discounted, help me out, y'all, diabetic supplies and discounted hearing aids, right? As well. So our senior citizen needs that stuff. It's part of our legacy insurance automatically. What a good deal. Now, this guy told me they wanted $30 a month for that. Now, the dummy doesn't understand. He's part of our team, and I hope he's watching. Where am I? I'm on Facebook Live, I hope. The dummy don't know that he already has it for free, and we only charge $3 for our legacy per month. And so he told me my agent could sell this, and if they get 100 clients, they make $1,000. I said, well, listen, your thing is 30, right? Yep. My thing is three, so my clients can take that, my agents can take the same 30, give them that deal, plus put $27 a month worth of insurance on them, and they make 200, at an 80% contract, they make $230 per sale. So with 10 clients instead of 100 clients, they make $2,300 a month. <laughs> then you got, you got to fit. Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're so sensitive, man. You're like, oh, my God. Like <laughs> Men don't like being called like a girl. I'm listening. All, right. All right, so guys, one great thing, guys. Uh, we have incentive trips, unmatched compensation, health benefits, bonus and reward. We're going to go over some of that stuff. All right, here's our incentive trip that's coming up. Go ahead. Luke. Yeah, I'm a Zoom. All right, that's cool. All right, bring up some. Palm Beach, Florida. So guys, for as little as forty-eight thousand dollars in production. You get an all-expense-paid trip for you and your spouse. You get cash. Now, keep in mind, let me tell you how easy to write 48000 okay? Uh, Jamie Benahaley, who's in Darlington, South Carolina, which is a town outside of uh, Columbia, Jamie last month, last week, or last two weeks, has written almost $25,000 towards the contract. He already qualified a long time ago. But in two weeks, he wrote $25,000. All issued, all paid in two weeks. How did he do that? He got our leads. He went out and saw the clients. Intentional. And he was intentional. He was at his first house at 9 o'clock. And Jamie only works at 2 o'clock from 9 to 2. He goes pick up his grandchildren every day at 3 o'clock. He's done. He's done. Okay? And he said he'll, he'll do better next two weeks. And as you go down the totem pole, you start getting bonuses. So, uh, Jamie will, uh, he's already exceeded that number right there for the year. If you're in the insurance business, he's already written 120 plus, he's written $125,000 in AP already this year. He's going to qualify for the Rolex Club. He's going to qualify for the max bonus. He's going to qualify, we're going to go over some other bonuses that we have. He's rich, rich, rich. 
And, and let me tell you how excited he is, Eugene. The meeting in Columbia, hold on a second, the meeting in Columbia started at uh, 10 o'clock. He called me at 8.45. I'm at the meeting. <laughs> Nobody's there, right? No. <laughs> no. He's just excited. I mean, think about it for a second. He has gotten paid every single day for the last 10 days. Can you imagine getting paid every single day for the last 10 days? Business days. How excited you would be. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's 50 years old. He's like a little kid. Okay? <laughs> All right. And then if you're an agency manager, you can qualify for these bonuses. Um, I've already exceeded that right there. 1.8, we're at 2.6. So it'll be $1,000 in cash for me next year. And the contest runs from February 1st to January 31st. So you have an opportunity that you can get your license in in August. We can have you write six, seven. Uh, this is Chase. In Chase's first full 30 days, he's almost at $9,000 in AP with it. Y'all give Chase a round of applause. He started working with us last month. He's already at $9,000. Okay? And so it's not very hard to qualify. And you got until January 31st. So you got August, September, October, November, December. You got six months. You can you can qualify with the hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand dollar deal. And guys, you, I'm gonna go over the compensation a little bit. You make a lot of money when you write that kind of business. A lot of money. Keep going, Lewis. All right, um, guys. You want to take a picture of this? Unmatched compensation equals cash flow. We do give you advanced commissions. That means the client gives you one check, and we pay you. Uh, 60% 60% of your commissions up front. We have no charge backs against your advances. So even if somebody canceled, changed their mind, and kept the policy for one hour after you got paid, you still don't see any charge backs against your advance commission. We have something that's called pay through. What that is is that's a monthly amount that comes out around the eighth. It becomes a very very large piece of your compensation package. Amen. In August of last year. I got paid twenty-four thousand dollars. Go check your phone. I got paid twenty-four thousand dollars on one check. On one check, I got paid twenty-four thousand dollars. I'm gonna say it again since somebody won't interrupt me. On, on, with one check. That's, I'm gonna take it to the next One check. It was twenty-four thousand dollars. One check. I'm gonna say it one more time. One check. It was twenty-four thousand dollars back in August of last year. One check. Okay. You get lifetime renewals. I'm being paid on things I wrote twenty years ago. You don't understand this business. I'm getting paid for things I did 20 years ago. Sam, can you imagine being paid on things you did 20 years ago? You'd be a billionaire. Yes, sir. You'd pay for 20 years. All right. You get overrides. Guys, check your phone. Guys, come on. Check your phone. You get overrides. What that means is this. If you want to become an agency manager, we will help you become an agency manager. We will teach you, train you. We will teach your folks. We will train your folks. We'll have meetings for your folks. We'll do things for your folks. We currently have conference calls on a daily basis. We have training calls. We had one last night. Okay, we're going to help you build. And guys, we have stock ownership. Senior Life, our flagship company, our completely debt-free company. Um, you know, if you're one of the players and you decide to go big, you can invest in a company that will eventually go public, just like Google, just like Microsoft. A lot of millionaires became billionaires by being in stock ownership. Let's keep going with this. Guys, now this is a bonus that our agency is providing right now. So if you write Chase, you get $10,000 in issue business, you got a few more days to get that, you get a $500 bonus, car bonus. Get out of here. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know of any other agency in America but mine that's doing that. No other agency in America but mine. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> we got we got at least ten people already this month to qualify for that. That comes directly out of my pocket. That comes directly from me, and that's just a, I don't have to do it. It's just we trying to help you be great. That's all. I want you to get to some levels, guys, that you can start making some real money. Ten thousand is a great start of uh, starting point. Thirteen thousand is a sweet spot. If you're doing thirteen thousand dollars in AP, you're making a ton of money. You got a lot of cash flow. Okay, let's keep going. Now, yeah, hold on a second. At the very bottom, you see how reserved the right change your income. <laughs> Make sure you take the fixed outside. And <laughs> Sam, about 50 of them start qualifying for what? That'd be a $250 car payment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. And it's easy. Let me tell you how many applications it is. You're doing about 17 applications for the month. Four a week, not even one a day. We teach you how to do two a day. 
but it's not hard. Don't let that 10,000 figure. See, our average premium is about $600. All right, 600 times 20 is 12,000. All right, well, you only got to do 10. So you're doing less than 20 apps a month. Okay? All right, let's keep going. All right, so let me tell you some income potential. All right, if you get 20 leads per week for 50 weeks, you, you treat this like a job, like a business where, Sam, let me ask you a question. When you got in business for yourself, there were 52 weeks in a year. How many weeks would you work when you got self-employed for yourself? All 52. Exactly. <laughs> we get people get self-employed, Sam, and they think that means they only got to work five weeks. No, five weeks a year. And then they wonder why they have to go back and get a job. All right? Sam owns this business. He owns local business. He's right there in the back. He could be at the beach somewhere. He's a millionaire. He could be at the beach. He understands he's running a business. Got to get you to teach how to run a business, okay? All right, so of, of, of those 1,000 leads, you'll do 500 presentations, about half. You'll catch up half of them. You'll close about half of them. That's 250. 250 application, you're writing $180,000 in AP. What is happening? You've gotten rich. Now, this, this figure right here, you won't be on that kind of contract. You're probably doing a 90% contract you're writing down that. But we just want to be conservative. You make $126,000 gross. After lead costs, you made $94,000. That's before any bonus money. That's before any incentive trips. That's before the car allowance. We're running pay through. We're running bonuses right now. Uh, this is one of the reasons that Jamie did what he did. I decided last week that whoever was the number one writer for the last two weeks of the, of the month, I'm going to give you $1,500 bonus. I just came up that bridge in my mind. <laughs> Sit around. Sit around. I'm not bragging, but I make a lot of money, and I'm trying to give it back. So Jamie took the lead on that. He took the lead. So on August 2nd, I'm trying not to be in town, but on August 2nd, <laughs> I got to give him $2,500 in cash. $2,500. You know that probably will pay most of his August bills for the month, and now he can work stress-free. Okay? Guys, this, this business pays that kind of money right there, and we're being very, very conservative on the numbers. Yeah. Very conservative. Let's keep going. All right, so I, I'm talking about 255 or whatever. If you need to make $60,000, which is $5,000 a month in your pocket, and please, in the name of Jesus, don't frown on that, um, I would probably say, Sam, 80 to 90% of the people probably don't make $5,000 in their pocket. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, all you got to do is write four apps a week. Not a day, not an hour. On our lead system, four apps a week. And that's what you make over a year's period of time. Let's keep going to the next one. All right, if you need to make 100, all you got to do is help six families a week. You ain't breaking no records. You ain't killing yourself. Our average presentation takes no more than two hours. Our average presentation takes no more than two hours. Including drive time, you might be working 20 hours a week. And you're making $8,333 a month in your pocket. All right, keep going, Lewis. Let's say you need to make a little bit more. You need to make two fifty. dollars And guys, don't get alarmed by that number. I'll share something with you. I'm not bragging. I've made somewhere near $500,000 so far this year in personal income deposited to my accounts. So the two fifty dollars is not anything that's uncomfortable to me. Okay? And, and let me share something with you. I made four twenty two dollars last year. That was just my fourth full year in business. 422. Okay? Uh, you, you help six families, and you help eight people anywhere in the country, right? Four, you make $250,000. <laughs> eight people in the country California, Texas, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> right. You make 250 Let's go up a little bit more. Let's say, let's say you need to go big. All right? You get a team of 30, and no longer are you in personal production, and you help those 30 people write four applications, you make a quarter of a million dollars. These are guaranteed numbers. Guaranteed. We can go home now. <laughs> we need to see you find 30 people. And let me tell you something. Hold on a second, Lewis. It probably won't be... 30 people you know today. I'm okay with that. You know, I didn't know Sam until a few months ago. I didn't know Fran. 
I didn't know uh, uh, Kathy. I didn't know Penny. I didn't know, uh, I knew of Chase, but Chase and I was not in business. I didn't know Calvin Muhammad. I didn't know John. I didn't know Faye. I didn't know Demaya. I didn't know 90% of this business. Gabby, Arun, Gabby, I didn't know Rashawn. I knew nobody. I knew this boy right here. <laughs> you Supposedly sure? my son. You sure? Exactly. <laughs> but that was the only person I knew just a few short years ago. Okay? Just a few short years ago. Let's go to the next one, Lewis. All right, guys. I would take a picture of this if I was you. These are the characteristics that you're going to need to be successful. Not just in this business, in life. Not just in this business, in life. Okay? And my friend Roderick says, if you have none of them, don't ever call us again. Lose my number. Hey, lose my number, exactly. But guys, we can develop you. I, even if you're bullheaded and you don't like to listen, because you got to be coachable, you can't, you got to stop all the complaining. Excuses and success cannot be in the same book. Yeah, that's right. Excuses and success can't be written in the same book. All right, keep going, Lewis. Hold on one second. Hold on a second, Lewis. And we're wrapping up, guys. We just have three more slides and I won't say, right. say a few words. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah. All right, guys. All right, if you've if you got to get licensed, you don't have a license, you want to take a picture of this right here. All right, a couple things. Are uh, you going to go to Excel testing? You got to put in that code. If you don't put in that code, it comes up at 199. And you're to do life only, not life and health. If you do health only, I'm going to switch over to life only. Life only. You got to take an exam. Don't worry about being administered by PSI. I don't think in Georgia, who takes, who does the exam down here? PSI. Yep. And you got to be appointed by the state. You got to get fingerprinted. Background check, uh, total cost. You know, you're looking at less than 250. Don't let that alarm you. The biggest thing that you got to start with is just the 49 dollars. That's it. And that doesn't come to us. I don't own this Excel testing company. That's a third party company. I think they're based out of Dallas. Um, but um, well, Utah, thank you. Utah. Uh, but you got your license. Now, guys, keep in mind, you have a professional license. You you are equal to a doctor, attorney, CPA. For you licensed agents, you need to get a little bit more proud of, we're gonna talk about it in training, of you having a professional license. Keep going, Lewis. Now, if you're already licensed, you're gonna to have to go, it's not www, it's https, senior life careers, thank you, dot com, uh, get your manager six digit code, and put it in and everything is done online. You're actually contracted uh, within 48 hours of doing this. Um, now, 48 business hours now. <laughs> Don't say I did it today and call me up Monday morning and say, am I, am I, am I done yet? Um, they're going to pull a background check. Um, you know, they're going to look at your history. The state pulls a background check as well. Okay? Keep going, Lewis. That's the last one. I know. So, my, my thing is let's get started. Here's what I want you to ask yourself. As I bring Sam up, go turn the lights back on for me. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and kill it. Um, what would stop you from getting started? Now, let me share something with you. For some of you guys, it, I'm not laughing because it's not funny. It could be the $49. Okay? And I will tell you if the $49 is a challenge for you, two things. Um, you need to do something different than what you're doing now. Because if it's a challenge today, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be your worst challenge six months from now. Okay, it's just called life. And secondly, if you're serious, I got $49 to lend you. Now, do not take my money just for the sake of taking my money because now should not steal. All right? Now I'm one of God's favorites. He's going to get you. All right, don't steal from me. But if you just honestly need some help, and I, don't take this the wrong way, I'm not putting you down. We can do it privately. Guys, let me give everybody my telephone number. Um, get your pen, put in your phone, whatever. You can send me a text, check me who you are, and I'll keep it privately. It's not, it's not, I don't joke with that. Uh, but it is 803 518 1083. 803 518 1083. Don't get alarmed by the people you see not writing. You already have a number. Right, Cal? Absolutely. Exactly. exactly. All right. But guys, you know, here's where I was I was broke, 
busted and disgusted yep. when I started this business. And I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was sick and tired of being broke. And I made no excuses. Mm -hmm. Everything was my fault. Every bad deal I did, every real estate closing, every foreclosure I lost, everything that I did was my fault. I didn't blame it on the economy. I should have had my eyes open when that mortgage business did what it did. So it was my fault. And so you got to understand that everything, your situation is your fault. I understand some people might have helped you get there, but you chose those people in your lives. Remember that? Right. We all get to make a decision. Okay, so guys, what I want to do, I want to introduce my good friend Sam, guys. Uh, Sam is a proprietor of this business. Uh, when I first met Sam, I called someone that later that day and I said, I've met uh, Texas Next Big in here. That's how much he inspired me that day, guys. Uh, you guys give Sam a round of uh, welcome to the call, too. Sam, we appreciate the place. Yes, Thank you very yes, much. Sir. As much time as you need. All right. All right. Well, Dr. Burns always gives one heck of a show, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. And I say to everybody, I'm an entrepreneur for 39 years. I started here when I was 17 years old. Now, failure, that's part of the process. I've been bankrupt. I've been divorced. I've been foreclosed on. I've been repoed on. I've, I've been in this in the building and watch the record driver pull up and pull out my car or my truck or whatever it was in repo. So been there, done that. So I tell people all the time, being an entrepreneur is not the easy path. But the minute that you take the steps and you start going towards that uh, process, it gets easier as you continue to grow. Even at a million dollar status, my problem is a million dollars. Exactly. You know, yeah. so, and it ain't 30 that, bucks, right? <laughs> I started at a thousand bucks, and so now my problem is a million dollars. Every person I talk to is a million, two million, five million, but it's the people you start surrounding yourself with. I can't go back to the hood where I was at, where they're smoking dope, drinking, doing coke, and I still say, hello, hey, how y'all doing? They know I'm from the hood, and I'm there, and, and I'm part of the hood. I'm giving 500 backpacks away back to where I came from. Wow. So I'm the same guys I grew up with. That's part of the whole LMS team, the whole LMS group that did this. All I did was make an opportunity. Let's do it. They said, let's 100, let's do 500. And that's the kind of person I, I am. I stretch out. So a lot of you guys might, but Sam, I don't know 100 people. I don't know 200 people. How many of y'all go do tax returns? Or uh, go to a tax office to do tax returns? That's your number one source. They got 100 people, 200 people. And I guarantee you, they want to talk money because at the end of your tax return, they say it's this much. Credit card charge, and you want me to take it out of the bank product we got. If you get to the knowing those people, they're your connection. I tell people, tax office, insurance office, real estate offices, those are your connections to get it. Because somebody just bought a house, don't you want to protect your home just in case something happens for your kids, for your husband, for your wife, for whoever it is? I know people tell me all the time when I bought my life insurance, are you crazy? Are you dying? Are you sick? No, I just want to make sure I take care of my wife. Amen. I want to take care of my wife and my kids. Now, in, in Spanish, we say Sancho. Y'all know that's Jody in English, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sancho, Jody. <laughs> no, you like that. No, sure. <laughs> that's the number one answer. I, I got a... Uh, Sancho poster up there in the front. Oh, you mean this guy? Future wife, future kids, and not going to take care of him like you said. Amen. Mr. Garcia, you hear Mr. Garcia talking? That let Sancho take care of you. At least one time, one time a week in the bedroom, he's telling you he loves you. No. He's you let Sancho take care. Of you. So I tell people all the time. You know. Girls come in here all the time and they say, this is my second marriage now. Did you Google him before you got hooked up and everything? You got to check his credit. You got to check if you got any background criminal activity. And you know, because you ain't going to change anybody but yourself. Amen. Now, right now, I know we're here in the class. Y'all here at Papa Sifu? Yes. I'm going to take everybody to Papa Sifu today. How does that sound? Wow. Thank wow. you. Wow. Alright, I'm here. Y'all hear me out. Alright. We're gonna leave our wallets and our purses here. Ooh. We're gonna order the best meal down there at Papa's and we're gonna bring a bottle of wine. We ain't gonna get drunk. They said little wine won't hurt anybody. <laughs> so when the waiter comes up and says, hey, who's gonna pay the bill? Whatever, we're gonna say we forgot our wallets and our purses in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> now, I want to know who is the first person to say that that's not right? Who said it wasn't right? Huh? But can't go in there a lot of people in my classroom say, my mom taught me better, my grandmother taught me brother, uh, my, my uh, people that raised me taught me better. But right now in this room, who told you it wasn't right? <laughs> the inner voice in you said, yeah. no, but my wife said I could know. Your inner self said you could. Not your wife, not your husband, not your brother, not your sister, not your hood, not the people you grew up with. Ain't nobody but you stopping you right now. And that's what I tell people all the time. So said a lot of people couldn't do it. I told them, we're going to go to McDonald's. We're going to go eat at McDonald's. Now. So I'm going to take it up on Papa's. So people say McDonald's, and as soon as I get to McDonald's, I order the big bags and everything, and I tell them, can I please speak to the owner, please? <laughs> the owner? I said, well, we got time, right? We could wait on the owner till he gets here, right? Well, the owner is not going to be here today or tomorrow or next week. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How much y'all deposit a day? How much y'all deposit a week, a month? Are you telling the owner any? Wait a minute. I'm an owner. I'm seven days a week, 14 hours a day a month. Business, something is wrong here. Amen. How can the owner? He might be playing golf, checking his bank account. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's not here today. So what is the difference between McDonald's and us that have a dream that want to build a business and do that? He done built the systems and the processes. Dr. Burns already started the systems and the process yes, for us. Right. All we got to do is take the position and take the order. Mm -hmm. That's all we got to do. Mm -hmm. But most of us are procrastinating. Well, I don't know anybody. Well, I'm going to start tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to start next week. It's only ourselves to stop ourselves. I was 17 years old when I started with my dad. I was the first Latino tow truck driver out here. So you already heard everything the 300 rednecks were saying about me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Red bag, bean eater, taco eater, everything. <laughs> but I realized that the passion that I had inside of me to grow my dad's business was more than the hatred and the anger. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. So we got to have a passion to help people. We got to have a passion to want to do something. We have to have a passion to watch our wallets grow also at the same time. So I'm a capitalist. Whether Obama, Donald Trump, whoever's in office, I didn't vote for Obama, and I tell people all the time, I'm sorry, I'm a Republican and capitalist, but at the end of the day, I didn't vote for Obama, but I got in line to sell the heck out of Obamacare. And I made a lot of money selling Obamacare, only affordable care, because a lot of people took offense about Obamacare, so I said, okay, affordable care. Same product, just a different word. Same Same product. Product. Exactly so I tell people all the time, what is it that we want to do in life? What do we inspire? I got a GED. I dropped out in the 10th grade. Mm. I went to college, I got a 4.0. I tell people all the time, I'm smart enough to be in school. It just wasn't for me. But what I've learned is that you have to mentor a partner with people. You have to bring people together. You gotta realize that somebody, somebody might have this strength. I can't hate on him because he has that strength. I can't hate on anybody but myself and desire to wanna do something. You gotta have the passion to do something. And you guys have passion because you're here today. 90% was just showing up today. That's all we got to do is just show up. <coughs> He's already did the hard work because to make it easy, very difficult. I tell people all the time, I had the Motorola flip phone, and I would flip it open. I couldn't text, email, couldn't do nothing. My son finally got tired. I know he the one that broke the phone. He wanted me to get it. <laughs> he took me to go buy my phone, and he got Apple phone, and I looked at it, and I said, oh, my God, this phone is dummy. Oh, my God, why did I wait so long to do this? I just got to push small fry, medium fry, large fry. <laughs> I think Steve Jobs was high as a kite when he went through McDonald's. <laughs> we could do this on the phone. Now, this is a stepping stone to get you to where you need to get. You got to be here forever? I would if I'm going to give residual money. But from this money, you can build your dream, build your life. Do what you want to do. But you got to start somewhere. And today was the day that you guys started because you showed up. Now give yourself a hand clap. I won't take any more time. And Alright, so guys, what I want to do real quick, I didn't want to do a snapshot. I'm not going to post this anywhere crazy. <laughs> guys, uh, 
So what I want you to do, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, if this is your first time here, and um, we're gonna ask you to get back with the person that invited you to the meeting, and uh, get some more information. Guys, write this uh, website down for me, and I want you to go check this out for me. It's called uh, www.consolidated, I'm gonna spell that, because I have a hard time spelling stuff. C-O-N-S-O-L-I-D-A-T-E-D, consolidatedplanning.org. I want you to check that website out. There's four things on that website. Uh, there's a PDF. There's a 23 minute audio, even though it says 38 minutes, it's only 23. Somebody just stayed on the phone 15 minutes longer than that we hung up. Okay, brilliant. I think I can find out who that was. And then there's two YouTube videos. Give a sincere look at this business. Don't start putting doubt in your mind, oh, this ain't for me, I can't sell, I don't like people. <laughs> Once again, do you like, I'm not being negative, do you like being broke? No. See, your why has to be bigger than your fears. Your why has to be bigger than your fears. Okay? In my business, you can run this business, you got to deal with some people, but you deal with people every day. Here's what I tell folks, if you touch bases with people, now here's the great thing about it. With this, with this computer, you can touch base with people every day, all over the world, all day long, every day. I can touch bases with people. I was sitting back there texting and Facebooking and posting pictures on Facebook or on our group meeting. And so, use the technology, and then we can teach you how to overcome any any problems that you have. Well, I don't talk well to people. Great, you'll be perfect. I don't know how to sell. Great, we're looking for explainers, not salespeople. Do you want to make some money? That's all you got to decide and then let us help you. We'll teach you how to own your own business. We'll teach you how to work for yourself. And guys, the tax benefits, and, and Sam might agree or disagree with me, one of the reasons, and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. <clears throat> and no big deal. We still can be partners. That's it. That's right. Um, I didn't vote for Hillary either. I voted for the dope smoker. <laughs> and just, <laughs> he said he smoked dope, and I don't smoke dope. What's he said in public? I don't like it, okay? <laughs> you know what the lawyer said, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but <clears throat> one of the things, guys, you can do, you just have to develop your why. That's what you can do, and we can help you. Do not procrastinate. Stop it. If you've been procrastinating, stop it. We had a lady get licensed today in South Carolina. Uh, we had people that have passed their tests recently. They've gotten licensed, and then once you get licensed, now let me share this with you, you know about 1%. Here's the biggest challenge I run into, Mulligan. People get their license for Sean, and now they get their license, they say, oh, I'm equal to you. Huh. You don't know anything. It's like driving a car or getting your permit. You understand if you get a permit, you don't know how to drive a car. That's all you've done is got your permit when you get your license. And so you got to come to training. you got to get mentored. you got to plug into the system. But what is it worth to you? A quarter of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. part-time two to three days a week who else is offering that I promise you uh, 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 Washington if Amazon was offering that down at the center boy it'd be lined up at the door Sam we would have to blow this wall out use the whole block to bring these people in and same thing I just showed them if our name was Amazon but remember Amazon started with one person in a room don't get it twisted okay Google started the same way Walmart started with one person Sam Walton you could be the next Walmart or Colin Smith. Why not you? Colonel Sanders was almost 70 years old mm -hmm. when he built his dream, started his dream. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is take a five-minute break. Like I said to you, if this is your first time here and, and, and you're not a licensed agent, we're going to excuse you, and then we're going to get started with some training, okay? All right, guys, give yourself a round of applause.